Hey, where'd you go? I hike halfway across the island to try and get you a reservation with the Swordmaster, who, by the way, says you can go jump in the lake. And when I come back, whew, you're gone. See if I ever do you a favor again. What do you want? I could really use a breath mint. Whew, you're telling me. Here, take one. Please. Take the whole roll. That'll be one piece of eight. What else do you want? I think I'd just like to browse. Okay, but don't put your lips on anything. Breathmaster, for the pirate who cares about first impressions. Ooh, that's refreshing. Oh, Grago Mint. How refreshing. Thanks. So, have you come to release me? Who are you? My name is Ores. At least I think it is. I've been in here so long I can hardly remember. You gotta get me out of here before I lose my mind completely. Can't you see? I'm innocent. But why are you in jail if you're innocent? I was framed. I didn't touch the stupid flowers. What flowers? The yellow conish in dormi flowers in the forest. It's against the law to pick them. Who's the sheriff around here? Do you mean you haven't run into the new sheriff yet? You're a lucky man. It's best to avoid Fester Shine Top. What's so bad about him? Fester Shinetop is the meanest man on Melee Island. Luckily, the governor keeps him in check most of the time. We used to have a fair, decent man for a sheriff, but he recently died under mysterious circumstances. If you ask me, I think the new sheriff had something to do with it. I think you've said enough, Otis. Whoops. I hope you haven't been taking this filthy vagrant too seriously. He'd say anything to avoid paying his debt to society. Do you mind? We were having a private conversation. Don't take that tone with me, monkey boy, or I'll gladly lock you up in there with Otis. Then you'd have plenty of time for private conversation. Sorry. Look, I don't know what you're up to. But whatever it is, it's probably illegal. So forget it. Wherever you go on Melee, I'll be watching. And if you try any monkey business, you'll end up in here for good. Man, is he a pill or what? You see what I have to put up with? You better go before you get us both in trouble. Important notice, these dogs are not dead.
They are only sleeping. No animals were harmed during the production of this game. This looks like a job for Fester Shine Top. <coughs> eh, better leave this here. The red button. It's a big, ugly, hairy yak wearing some wax lips. I can't move it. I can't move it. I'll need this. I must be nuts. Fuck! <laughs> Gophers! Beautiful. I can't open it. Uh oh. <laughs> that should hold him for a while. If only I had a file, I could get the idol. Hey, this is my work on the rats. Thanks. Here, take this carrot cake in exchange. My Aunt Tilly made it. I've got the file.
That was a close one. At least I got the idol. But I'm not done with you yet. Uh-oh. Thought you could get out of here with the idol of many hands, did you? Look, I can explain. So can I. You poisoned the governor's pet poodles. They're just sleeping. Broke into her house. The door was unlocked. And stole one of her most valuable pieces of art. No, you've got it all wrong. Oh, really? Well, let's hear your explanation. I was just going to borrow it. Ta! What's going on here? I caught this hoodlum making off with your idol, Governor. He says he was just borrowing it. That's right, I loaned it to him. What? You heard me, Fester. The real question is, how did he get in here while you were on guard? I, uh... Oh, just go away, Fester. I can handle this. Hmm. I'll deal with you later. Sorry about him. He's new. I'm Governor Marley. Governor Elaine Marley. So, you were just going to borrow it, eh? Well... Relax, Mr. Threepwood. I know why you're here. Believe me, you're not the first who's tried. Although I have to admit, not many get as far as you have. Golly! My lookout told me of your arrival. I've wanted to meet you ever since I heard your fascinating name. Tell me, Guybrush, why do you want to be a pirate? You don't look like one. Your face is too... sweet. <laughs> I see. You're obviously not in the mood for idle chit-chat, are you? I suppose you've got many more exciting things to do? I won't take up any more of your time, Mr. Threepwood. Boo! Nothing can... Blinkly? Uh. I really wish I knew how to talk to women. Where do you think you're going, Throom Wade? Excuse me, Mr. Shine Top, but you're blocking the doorway. I think you need to cool off. Hand over your sword. Uh-oh. This is the end of the road, my little pantalooned pal. Your troublemaking days on Melee Island are over. My plans for the governor are far too important and much too near completion to risk letting a would-be pirate like you get in the way. So long, Mr. Spice Cake or Droop Face or whatever your name is. Hmm, this might actually turn out to be a pretty good day. I can't reach that from here. I guess I'll be needing a sword. This one will do.
<laughs> what was that? I'm so confused. Hey, what are you doing just standing around? The governor's been kidnapped. What? By whom? The Chucks got her on that ship that just sailed off. He caught her alone when she came down here to rescue you. <laughs> I'm afraid we've seen the last of her. Where did they go? LeChuck's taken the governor back to his hideout on Monkey Island. I'm afraid that no pirate on this island is brave enough to follow him there. But hey, good luck. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, they left this note. You can have it, but I don't think you'll like what it says. Oh, governor. Why did you have to risk your life for me? Maybe you cared for me more than I thought. Just as I now realize how much I care for you. It's my fault the governor's in this mess, and I swear I'll get her out of it, even if I have to sail to Monkey Island myself to get her. Attention Pirates of Melee. Your governor is alive and well and by my side as she was always meant to be. If you try to find us, you will only meet with horrifying disaster. Yours truly, Captain LeChuck. Where are all the pirates? Oh, they're all up looting the governor's mansion. The governor is gone. LeChuck and his spectral crew came and got her. They put her in the ghost ship and spirited her away. She was so good to me. Always conveniently losing those health board reports. For a small consideration, of course. What'll become of my business? Oh, woe is me. What can I do to save her? <laughs> you must get a ship and go after her. The ghost pirate's lair is on Monkey Island. Everybody knows that. Don't ask me how. All you need to do is find a way there. Where can I get a ship? Why, it's Smiling Stan's used shipyard. Same as everybody else. Tell them I sent you. We're old friends. Right. I'm off. Good luck. Be sure to wear your mittens. And your galoshes. And don't forget to write. Bye now. <laughs> <laughs> this stuff is eating right through the mug. <laughs>
Hey, Gray, a drink. I'm real thirsty. Yikes! Whoops. Wow. And to think I used to drink that stuff. I'm free! Oh, yeah. Thanks. If there's anything I can ever do for you. Well, actually, there is something. I'm looking for brave people to join my crew and sail off to Monkey Island with me to rescue the governor. She's been abducted by the fearsome pirate LeChuck and is being held against her will somewhere in his secret hideout. I see. Well, Jess, hmm. LeChuck, you say? Well, Jess? Yes, of course. We must sail to Monkey Island and... <gasps> hey, look behind you, a three-headed monkey! I can't believe I fell for that. Pretty good trick, though. Meanwhile, having just returned from Melee, LeChuck and his crew find their old hiding place in the underground rivers of Monkey Island and drop anchor. Captain, sir, I just stopped by to congratulate you on your kidnapping mission. Captain? Captain, are you all right? Never felt better. And how fares our prisoner? Ah, yes, the uh, prisoner. <laughs> we had a little trouble. Trouble! No, 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 nothing to worry about, sir. Everything's under control. She escaped a few times, but we've got her locked up in the brig. No one's getting in or out of there. For your sake, I hope not. With years of planning almost destroyed by my death, I'm not taking any chances now. You took care of Mr. Threepwood then? Guy Brush Threepwood will not be a problem. At this very moment, he's 20 feet underwater. Probably bloated up like a fattened pig. His eyes being eaten out by crabs. Fish pecking at his fingers. Kind of makes you wish you were there to watch. Ah, yes, sir. Ugh. Sure does it that. Now, go check on the route. Make sure it's locked up tight. Aye, aye, Captain. You've already got the t-shirt. What do you want now? The governor's been kidnapped! What? That's ridiculous. Oh no. This looks bad. Very bad. 
I'm getting a ship and a crew together to go rescue her. Hmm. I have a feeling I'm going to regret this, but count me in. I'll meet you at the dock. Hey! I don't like visitors. Who are you? The governor's been kidnapped! What? That's preposterous. Oh, really? Take a look at this note they left. Oh, no. This is horrible! What are we going to do? We could get a crew together and sail off after them. What an idea! Now, if we only had a captain... Well, what about me? Ha! You! Ha! Ha 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 ha! Oh! Ha 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 ha! That's a good one. Hey, I'm serious. Really? Really? Okay, let's see you prove it. Walk this way. There's something in here that I want to show you. Something horrible. Something so horrible that I stay awake at night just thinking about it. But I don't mean to scare you. I'm sure a big, brave guy like yourself will have no problem facing this monster. After all, it's much smaller than the beast that bit off my hands so many years ago! Arr, 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 arr. Let's just hope you're quicker than I was. Oh, I just remembered something. I never did get around to feeding him this week. Ha 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 ha! Silly me! I'll let you open this last door yourself. Just let me get out of your way. Wait. Ha ha ha! Getting cold feet? No, I just don't know what I'm supposed to do. You're supposed to open that little door. And if you're brave enough, touch the beast inside. Oh, is that all? Okay, go ahead. If you've got the guts. Don't believe it! You are a brave man after all! You faced the beast I've feared all these years! You had the guts to do what I never could! I feel like such a coward! I'm not good enough to be on your crew! I'm not even good enough to swab your de 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 <laughs> Oh, come on, Mr... Uh, Matok. 
Mr. Meat Hook. You're a big, strong, good-looking guy with a great tattoo. I can make a talk. Who want to see? Ha! Uh, maybe later. Anyway, you can swab my decks anytime. <laughs> really? Sure. I can still be on your crew. Just pack your stuff and meet me at the dock. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I won't let you down. Hey, maybe I'll get a chance to show you my whole tattoo routine when we're at sea. Wow, this is sounding better and better all the time. Wow, it works both ways. That's some chicken. I'm Stan of Stan's previously owned vessels, and I'd stand on my head to make you a deal. What sort of craft are you looking for? Big, fast, slow. You want it, I got it. And if I don't got it, I'll get it. I want to make you a deal that you're happy with. Because if you're not happy, I'm not happy. But I know you're gonna leave here happy today. How do I know? Just look at all these ships. I've got something for everyone. Come, take a look around. So tell me, what are you interested in looking at today? I don't really have that much to spend. Have no fear. Every ship I sell is a bargain. But if you're looking for a real steal, I've got just the boat for you. Walk this way. This here is the famous Sea Monkey, the only ship ever to make it to Monkey Island and come back with anyone aboard left alive. Or should I say, anything? You see, the previous owners of this ship were two adventurous pirates. They set off, like many before, to find the legendary secret of Monkey Island. And like many before, they disappeared forever. Their fate? A mystery. Almost as mysterious as how this ship returned to Melee Island without a single human aboard. Some claim it was sailed back by a crew of chimps. Chimps? There aren't any chimps in the Caribbean. Oh, shut up. It makes a good story. Anyway, this baby's mine now. That is, until someone makes me an offer. How much would you like to spend? Actually, I was hoping to get one on credit. Sorry, kid. Neither a borrower nor a lender be. That's just old Stan's philosophy. If you've got a job, the storekeeper in town might extend you some credit. Then we'd have something to talk about. Unless, of course, you've already got some other means of financing. On second thought, this may not be the ship for me. Well, heck, I can understand that. Nothing wrong with being indecisive, even if it is a waste of my time. So, what else can I show you? 
Actually, I'd like to go think about it some more. Sure, sure, think it over. I don't want you to feel pressured or anything. Bye now. I forgot to give you my card. And here's something else to remember me by. A compass? An extra strong magnetic compass. With your picture on it. That's right. It always points directly back here. So if you're looking for a good deal, you know where to go. I'll be right here when you come back. But I can't guarantee that any of these ships will. Right. They're moving fast today. Yes, sirree. Can't hardly keep anything in stock. He'll be back. It never fails. A step away from the counter for two seconds and some idiot's already ringing that stupid bell. What do you want? I'm interested in procuring a note of credit. You are, I, uh, you got a job? Yes, of course I do. All right. I'll get one of my notes and we'll fill it out. Let's see here. What did you say your occupation was? I'm a grog-swilling, foul-smelling pirate. Foul-smelling, yes. Grog-swilling, maybe. But a pirate? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Come back when you got some tattoos or a peg leg or at least an eye patch for crying out loud. What else do you want? I'm looking for the Swordmaster of Melee Island. Look, I told you she doesn't want to see you. Maybe if you asked her again? Hmm. I guess I could hike all the way over there again. Be right back. And don't touch anything! There's nothing in here but this note. Thank you. 
Howdy! Great to see you again. I knew you'd come back. Everybody does. You know why they come back? Just look at all these ships. I've got something for everyone. Come, take a look around. So, what else can I show you? Uh, could I see the cheap one again? I knew it. I knew it. Just can't get her out of your mind, can you? Walk this way. Hard to stay away from a good mystery, isn't it? Hmm? What kind of price range were you thinking of? I got credit from the storekeeper. Will you take it? Hey, of course. Your credit's always good at stands. It doesn't matter if you've had credit problems in the past. Divorce, chronic gambling mishaps. I mean, who am I to judge, right? If the storekeeper trusts you enough to give you a letter of credit, then you must be an honest man with a steady income, right? Uh, right. Let's get down to brass tack, shall we? I know you want it. You know you want it. And I know that you know that I want to sell it, so... Let's talk extras. Extras? You want to talk extras? Great! This baby's loaded with extras. For instance, did I tell you about the porthole defoggers? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Okay, but don't blame me if you run into an iceberg or something. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the anti-lock anchor? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Sure, throw safety to the wind. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the rack and pinion rudder? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Well, I guess it'll float without it. Barely. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the velour sail covers? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Hey, travel light. I can understand that, sure. Of course, mutiny is an ugly word. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the tachometer? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Wow, does your wife know you're such a cheapskate? But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the elevator made with wood from burgundy wine casks? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Yeah, I guess that is kind of decadent, isn't it? But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about this simulated wood siding? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Okay, but I'm telling you, barnacles hate simulated wood. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the porthole defoggers? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Okay, but don't blame me if you run into an iceberg or something. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the anti-lock anchor? Enough about extras already. Okay, where were we? Well, what do you think it's worth? You could sail this puppy away today for just 7,300 pieces of eight. How does that sound to you? Forget it. I don't need this boat anyway. Now, wait a second. Don't go away mad. I'm sure we can work something out. Well, maybe you're right. Of course I am! Now, where were we? 
Oh, yeah. I'm going to be getting a whole new shipment next week. So you got me over a barrel. I've got to sell this baby, even if it means losing my shirt. Well, what do you think it's worth? You could sell this puppy away today for just 6,300 pieces of eight. How does that sound to you? I'd like to make you an offer. Great. How much? All right, 5,000, but that's my final offer. 5,000 pieces of eight. Okay, okay. It's killing me, but okay. And I thought I was gonna give my children Christmas presents this year. Just take it out of here. I'm glad to get rid of it. Oh yeah, do you have that note from the storekeeper on you? Thanks. I've got to run these numbers by my boss. He'll think I'm nuts, but I'll talk him into it. You meet me at the dock with your crew. I'll bring the ship and the papers. I just want to say that I really feel like we got to know each other today. I mean, I really felt some bonding here. And I don't just say that to everybody. It's been great doing business with you. Really? Sucker. See you at the dock and don't forget your crew. All three of them. It's a good thing you showed up. Ten people have offered to buy this baby off me while I've been standing here waiting for you. But I said, no way. I know a guy who's in love with this ship, and it would break his heart to lose it. Am I right? Of course I am. I mean, just look at her. Sleek, aerodynamic, a buoyant barnacle-covered beauty. I think we're having a real moment here. I've changed my mind. I can't give her up. You can have your money back. How could I sell something so dear? Then again, a deal's a deal, right? Right. <laughs> Good luck, yeah. I'm out of here. Whoops, I almost forgot to give you this free seafaring literature. My gift to you. Just remember where you got it. Stands! Maybe I should have gotten that extended warranty after all. Hey, long time no see. Otis, I thought I'd never see you again. Hey, I could never pass up a chance to make some easy money. Uh, money? Yeah, we are getting paid for this, right? Glad you could make it, Carla. Look, don't start with me, okay? So what's that waterlogged wreck doing out there? How are we gonna get our ship in here with that pile of scrap in the way? Where's the cabin boy? I need him to go back to my place and pick up my bags. What's going on here? Where's our ship? Where's our crew? This isn't going to be as easy as I thought. 